an Indiana Arby's employee being fired after, well, allegedly writing, uh, we'll call it a rainbow slur on a couple's receipt. We're going to explain everything that went down here, guys. Really quickly mention off the top, I'm now on Rumble. Have you subscribed there to me yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Link is right down there below. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here, guys. I could be thrown off YouTube at any point. Don't wait for that to happen. Get to Rumble. Check out the content I'm posting there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, couple here, uh, Craig Gray and, uh, well, his buddy, his buddy John, John Burns. We're at the Arby's in Lafayette, Indiana, back on June the 5th. Now, originally, they were going to be going just to the drive through but the line was so long, I said, you know what, we're just going to go inside, order our food there, maybe we'll just... Go ahead and eat, uh, do a dine-in. So they go inside, they go to place their order, they go up to the cashier, order their food, and, you know, Gray is kind of describing this whole thing as, well, the cashier seemed pretty new, a little bit awkward, but other than that, nothing out of the ordinary that you would expect from a fast food restaurant. Well, until he got his receipt, and on the receipt, he is claiming that there was a rainbow slur on that receipt that was directed at both... Him and his partner. Now, I'm going to post uh, the pictures of the receipt actually down below in the description. You guys can go ahead and take a look at that for yourself. He was appalled when he saw what was on his receipt. And he went to the cashier and said, you know, what is this? What did you, why would you write this on here? And the cashier said that, well, it was simply just an error uh, in the computer. He blamed it on the computer and said that sometimes when he writes names in there, the computer will just spit out something different other than what he puts in originally. Well, Gray was not buying this one second. He immediately asked to speak to the manager and things picked up from there. I'm going to get to that in just a second, guys. Let me say, if God puts it on your heart to donate here to our ministry, we would so much appreciate you. You know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. You can see why. So we could really use the help down below. PayPal or Patreon, even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get my exclusive bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos up there because you're not going to get all of the alerts. Then when you're there, you can just go ahead and comment on these videos. Do it censorship free and avoid having YouTube block and hide your comments like they're doing for so many of you right now. It blesses our ministry. It goes a long way. So thank you to everybody who's already doing that. But they called the manager over told the manager about what happened. This cashier was reportedly fired right there on the spot because of this. They showed the manager the receipt and everything like that. Manager wasn't buying what he was hearing from the cashier about the glitch in the computer. So the cashier was gone. They go ahead and sit down at the table. They get their food. The manager comped the food to the couple, said, look, we're, we're so sorry about this. We don't approve of this at all. You know, they took quick action. You know, a lot of times they do like investigation of these things that happen in these fast food places. This is one of the few that I've seen. I'm sure there's others out there. It's just the first that I've come across myself to where I've actually seen uh, an employee being fired immediately on the spot. They, they didn't even waste any time with this. So the couple went and sat down, and then they saw the cashier, you know, walking out to their car uh, as they were going ahead and, and leaving. But the couple thinks that, well, not enough was done about this, and they actually want more. Now, they got a free meal out of this. The manager personally apologized to them, and... The couple saying that Arby's, you know, corporate has yet to reach out to them. Although Arby's corporate is saying they have tried to reach out to them, but to no avail. They have not answered. So they're, they're trying to use this as more of a, a teaching moment. They posted the picture out on Facebook of the receipt and said, so much for pride, you know, of course, referring to Pride Month. And, uh, and look, look, I don't approve of lifestyle. You guys know me. You guys have watched me enough. You know this, but look, this is, if you're in any business, customer service, whatever it is, you shouldn't be treating people this way. Now, if, if this was truly a computer glitch, well, then it was, but everyone's saying that isn't. Let's just say for the sake of this, that it, it wasn't a glitch that this cashier meant to write what he did. Okay. You don't treat people that way. doesn't matter if you agree with what they do with their lives or not. You're there to serve everybody. And so you shouldn't be writing any kind of a, a, a slur for rainbow people, for any kind of people. Now, I talk about it too. They do this with police officers all the time too, where they, you know, cashiers or, or even baristas at the Starbucks, they'll go ahead and write some disgusting things about police on there. It's happened in restaurants. I've covered it here extensively on this channel for years now. So no one should be getting any sort of treatment like this at all. 
as far as Arby's goes, it looks like they're they've done everything they can do at this point. I don't know what you know if the if this couple wants like some more free food or something. They said they want it to be a teaching moment, and look, Arby's fired the fired the cashier. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what more you would want in a situation like this. Uh, if if this is truly what happened, that it's horrible. Again, this shouldn't happen to anybody. But uh, you know, we're in crazy times. We're in the end times. You know, I talk about it all the time that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. This is why we do these videos. We talk about these prophetic news headlines, things that are happening around the world right now because he is coming back and we want to give people an opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So if you're watching this video right now, maybe you don't know the Lord. You click this video, you didn't think this blind guy is going to be talking to you about Jesus here, but yet here we are. And some people may have clicked off the video by now, and that's fine. That's on them. But if you're still here, I believe that's for a reason. That's by divine appointment. You want to receive Christ, and here's how you do so. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. So what's your role? It's to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit. Whatever it is in your life that's counter, that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do this, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Again, some pictures of the receipt if you would like to check that out. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.